If you have a form in your site, of course, WordPress Content Form 7, this video is for you. You can understand how to make sure you receive all emails in your WordPress site. Just keep watching to the end. What's up everyone, I'm Andrew from MoreConvert. In this tutorial, I'm gonna talk about a common problem with WordPress and that is that uh, WordPress is not sending emails properly or not at all. That happens a lot. Uh, I hear a lot that people are saying that uh, their WordPress or WooCommerce or whatever plugin they're using is not sending emails. And uh, one of the things that frustrates people is that they don't understand how WordPress sends emails, so they have no idea how to fix that. Either WordPress sends their emails correctly or it doesn't. And they really have uh, no control over the whole process. So in this video, I'm I'm gonna mostly talk about how WordPress sends emails, so whether it's the WordPress core itself, uh, like uh, your uh, authentications, uh, when you reset your password or your, when you want to register, where your user wants to register to WordPress, or whether it's from contact forms, which we'll especially talk about them, or whether it's WooCommerce or any kind of plugin. So here I have a quick slide and i'm gonna talk about i'm gonna explain how wordpress sends emails so this is the default uh, route to sending emails we will also look at another route whenever uh, you install wordpress you install woocommerce any kind of plugin any kind of contact form this is the standard way that WordPress sends email and it happens all the time. And the first step is that a plugin or the WordPress core itself calls the WP mail function. And WP mail function is a default standard function for sending emails by WordPress. So every time uh, a plugin wants to send an email, it just calls the WP mail function and says, okay, send this email for me to this person with this title and with this information. So this is the very first step. And usually we don't have any problem here because uh, if you're using, for example, WooCommerce or a contact form plugin, they should uh, call the uh, double play mail function at the appropriate times. The second step is that uh, when they call the double play mail function, it will call another function, which is the PHP mail function. And PHP mail function is not specific to WordPress. It's a default, it's a default PHP function for sending mails so it's on every php website every every php server has this and what happens is that double mail function calls this php function and it's the step that uh can be faulty at uh, lots of times so that maybe the server is not working correctly and the uh, second the third step is that the server tries to send the email so at this step uh, when the PHP mail function uh, gets called, it uh, uh, calls the server, it uh, hands the mail to the server and server uh, tries to send the email. And uh, the next step is that email is either accepted or rejected by the receiving host. So either the server is successful at uh, sending the email or it, it isn't. And the very last step is that actually it's happening uh, on the receiving host, not on your server, is that the email is filtered. So it's uh, whether filtered to the spam box or the inbox or any kind of other location, for example, uh, the promotion uh, section on Gmail. And this is the default route that WordPress takes. And what can be faulty most of the time is that uh, the double P, uh, this uh, double P mail function calls the PHP mail function, but the PHP mail function does not work simply because your uh, hosting provider has not set this up correctly. So this is the cause for lots of problems. And we're gonna test, so it's really important that we understand which part is faulty. Usually this part is either faulty, the PHP mail function does not work, or the pl plugin does not call the WP mail function correctly. So maybe because double WP mail function has uh, some kind of, uh, get some kind of information like to who we are sending email to, 
and the message and also it can uh, the plugin can change its behavior for example the from uh, part of the email can change and so basically a plugin should give the to message and from to the double mail function and also this step can be faulty so that uh, the plugin does not correctly use the double mail function this, these are the two uh, possible uh, steps that can uh, make the, the email does not uh, land the inbox so how we can understand which part is faulty it's uh, really easy if you understand this uh, chart if wordpress is not sending emails at all the problem is usually and uh, logically uh, from the php mail function but if some plugins are sending emails and some are not it's definitely wp mail function uh, is not getting called correctly so we're gonna use a free plugin to test the WP mail function and uh, without any plugin. So we're gonna test it simply just by calling the WP mail function, which always calls the PHP mail function. So a uh, WP mail function always works correctly if we don't change it along the way and if we don't give false information to it, it will work and it will call the PHP mail function. So we will uh, try to test the double mail function using a free plugin and to see that uh, if it works or not and here i just go to my admin dashboard and plugins and add new and i will search for a free plugin called check and log email And it's here, check and log email. And now I have a new section here, check and log email. And if I come to this section, you can see, I can send test emails. And it, I have two options here, the standard headers and the custom headers. And the headers are additional data. So they, they, do, they um, say which kind of content type is being sent. Uh, from whom the email is being sent and also the characters and other things so I will use a standard headers mode but uh, if that doesn't work you can just use custom headers which I will show you and if none of them work then probably and most likely your server is faulty so your double your uh, PHP mail function is not working at all so here I can just input an address, email address here, and for example, and I will just uh, click the send test email, and it says, okay, the test email has been sent by WordPress. Please, uh, please note that this does not mean that it has been delivered, and it's really important. If you get a green uh, bar here, it doesn't mean that email has landed the inbox. It should be landed, but it doesn't mean it gets landed and uh, you can also use custom headers and what is important here why we gonna use custom headers is that uh, we have also a from um, address so you can uh, check that it's a uh, it's not very strange it's not uh, damaged so uh, for example my email at sign example.com is good but you can uh, always change it to another thing and it's really good uh, idea uh, to set the from email different from two emails. So if you are, uh, for example, if your uh, email address is me at signexample.com, just uh, set this to another email. For example, my email at signexample.com. Or maybe you can just use your uh, the name of your uh, WordPress site. So for example, my example, my email, sorry, my email at signblog.com. And uh, it confuses some people that uh, they usually ask, okay, how am I able to change the from address? Because the from address, uh, I should have no, no capability in changing the from address. But uh, the reality is that uh, whenever you send an email, uh, these emails are, are not verified by default. So you, you can always set the from address and it happens a lot. So uh, whenever you're using WordPress to send emails and or the PHP mail function, 
the from uh, section is just set by you so uh, you can change it uh, and uh, he, uh, you may ask okay what happens if I just uh, type here for example Apple or a, a valid email address which belongs to someone else and that's actually uh, called email spoofing when people uh, when uh, hackers try to send emails from other people using uh, their email address and what happens is that uh, the email will can also land the inbox and it will show that for example this email uh, is uh, coming probably for example from apple.com but it actually isn't and uh, it's really important that uh, the from takes every time you're using your email maybe you have not noticed it but the from text uh, is not a, uh, really an indicator that the email is really coming from the server. So, and uh, inboxes are now smart than they understand because they have some kind of authentication methods and they can understand, okay, that this email is probably spoofing, it's not coming really from a blog.com and they will show you uh, a warning, but but you will also receive the email. And now I can just uh, click send this email again. And now you can just go and open your inbox. And also you should uh, check your spam folder because a lot of times these emails will land to the spam box. And if you are getting these emails, it means that your PHP mail function is working and the problem is with your plugins. And it's that, that they are not uh, calling the top email function correctly but if you don't receive any email from both using standard headers or using custom headers which is not really different here uh, if you don't change the from text they will be both doing the same thing if you don't receive any email it means that the php mail function is faulty and if the php mail function is faulty we really don't have any option here because it's uh, configured by the hosting company you're using by the hosting service so they should fix that and you should, you should uh, call them and uh, ask them to fix the problem because uh, we have no control over the php mail function it's just set up by the hosting company and uh, if the server is faulty if the it's, it's not configured correctly it doesn't send emails and you should call them but if on this stage you get your emails it's definitely that the plugins are not working correctly and usually the problem is with uh, contact for plugins because WooCommerce and WordPress uh, always work correctly so most of the times they have no problem but if you're using a contact form plugin it can go faulty and uh, in this case uh, we will talk about the contact form 7 uh, plugin which is a very popular plugin and it seems that people are having the most problem with contact form 7 because it's uh, a little more advanced than other contact forms some some simpler ones uh, like wp forms or other and it, it it can go wrong so here i will just go to add new and contact form 7 and the idea is really the same but we are changing here just works for any other contact form plugin and now i have a new section here contact and a default contact form and now i can see my contact form and if i open the mail tab you can see i have a few options here which are really important and can cause problems and basically whatever contact form you're using it's really important to check that the two and from um, fields are set correctly so the first uh, point is that it's a really good idea that they are not this, they are not using the same email address because sometimes uh, their email services do not uh, receive or do not let uh, email addresses with the same uh, to and from to be received and it doesn't happen always but it's a good idea to have a different to and from address and also if people are sending contact forms make sure that the from address is not set to their email address so for example here uh, as you can see your email address is the email address of the 
person uh, answering the contact form and uh, you should uh, make sure that your email address is not used here so the from is actually uh, showing the email address of your website and in this case it's my email at sign blog that test so just make sure that uh, you're having your website email address here and also the two email address uh, in this case is a site admin but it's a really good idea that they are not the same and in this case they are not the same so make sure that uh, they are not the same and also the from field is not using the email address provided by the uh, person filling this form and that's it and that's uh, what you have to check uh, if you are not receiving your your emails here and I can just click save and now we know how WordPress sends emails by default so the default route is this and you can just uh, fi fix the problem if you can uh, know which stage is causing the problem and as I told you, if uh, the problem is the, with uh, the PHP mail function, so you are not receiving any email at all, and uh, the PHP mail function is not working correctly, then you have no way of solving it. So you have to contact your hosting provider and ask them to solve this problem or guide you. But there is one thing that we can do, and that's basically changing the second step here. So we can just use a third party service provider and tell WordPress to call them. So whenever a plugin or WordPress core wants to send an email, they call the WP mail, but the WP mail function does not call the PHP mail function. Instead, it calls a third party service provider, a third party API, and then they send the email and everything happens normally. And now you can see if we are using a third party SMTP provider, WordPress is no longer using the PHP mail uh, function. So instead, it's uh, handing the email to, uh, to the SMTP service provider and they will uh, send the email on our behalf and the email is either accepted or rejected. And actually, when you're using a third party service, you have a much more higher chance for the email landing the inbox and not uh, being filtered as a spam so it's a uh, much more safer method for sending emails and basically you just have to use SMTP plugin and then just connect your WordPress to the service providers one of the very good free plugins is the WP mail SMTP plugin by WP forms it's a very popular plugin you can just search its name in the WordPress repository, WP Mail SMTP. And basically, you can just use uh, any service provider. So you can use smtp.com, uh, Mailgun, SendGrid, SendInBlue, and Gmail also. And Gmail has a free API uh, for uh, small volume emails. And there are lots of free tutorials available on the internet for every different service provider. So you can just search how can I send uh, WordPress emails with Gmail using Gmail or using Outlook or using Mailgun. And it's really straightforward and you can just use this way. And then uh, because you are not using the PHP email function, you're problem will be solved and thanks for watching everyone if you like this video make sure to subscribe to our channel and if you have any problem just comment down below